Hayden, we are on fight number seven. Uh, just before we started with our commentating, you told me a fun fact. Don't you want to share that with our viewers? Yeah, so basically, Jackson Chauke hasn't shaved in about 14 years. He always sports a goatee. And the new BSA law state that at professional level, you have to be clean shaven. So for the first time in 14 years, Jackson Chauke doesn't have a beard. Jackson Chauke, a former Olympian, 13 wins, one loss. Very experienced, my ex sparring partner when I turned pro back in the day with Nick Durant at 19 years old. He taught me a lot, very confident guy, not an arrogant guy. I came into the gym as fresh meat and he looked after me. Um, I think uh, he's very experienced, eh? Uh, a little bit of a funny fact is that the way in uh, Jackson actually uh, pulled a zap at uh, Zolani. So, uh, that oh, was, really? Yeah. And yeah. There, there was a bit of a shove between the two guys, but uh, I think uh, tonight we'll see who the real man is. I think there's a bit of bad blood there then. Oh, there must be. I mean, Jackson is chasing after the SA title. Uh, the SA title is currently being uh, competed between T uh, Timbalani Noche and um, 24. The winner between that, Jackson Chaiwuke, should probably fight next. And, um, you know, these guys, they, Damian Durant and Jackson Chaiwuke, they want to fight the winner of that fight and then potentially go on to fight for international title and then aim at Maruti Mtalane. Damian looking very aggressive at, his, uh, at Jackson's opponent. I think there's a lot of bad blood there. Um, you can just see it in their, their look and their energy and their feel. Um, how do you think this first round's going to go? You know, it's been a while since Jackson's been in the ring. I think almost uh, two years before his, his fight earlier this year. So, but you know, sometimes uh, you don't get, some boxers just don't feel the rust. I don't know if Jackson's that guy. Uh, we'll have to see. So Lille is starting with a quick jab there. Looks also very sophisticated, a lot of style. Jackson, just very, very nice, clean cut boxer. Yeah, so we saw before the fights in the dressing rooms, because we obviously went to go see the boxers before just to t see what they're like. Jackson, uh, um, uh, very, very uh, um, animated, whereas uh, uh, Mia was, was, on the, was on the headphones and he was just listening to music and just chilling. And you know, just two different approaches for the two boxers before the fights. Um, Jackson with some beautiful punches there. A left hook to the body, which, which certainly stung his opponents. Uh, Zolile also coming on uh, four wins. His last fight, it looks like he lost. He lost his last fight um, on a knockout. Yeah, look, um, you know, Jackson, Jackson's the type of guy that will expose guys at this level. You know, Jackson's a former Olympian, as you said earlier. He's, he's got pedigree, you know, and he's trained under some of the best trainers in the country. He trained no. under Nick Durant, he trained under Colin. He was most, most in Nick's stable. Uh, Nick had a lot of sparring partners for him. I think he gained a lot of his experience from that. Uh, I think mm. there's, there was Moruti. Uh, Look, I think the fight against Moruti is... Zolani it's, Tete. It's, 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 Moruti's fight is... The fight against Moruti, which they're aiming for, is a, it's, it's a far down the line. Yeah. Um, Moruti might be too old at that stage to take that fight. Uh, but Moruti actually looks very fresh. Um, Moruti looks very strong at his age, eh? Showing that old men can still do it. Well, look, Maruti's fighting for the RBF World title really soon, which is great news for South Africa. And he's been the RBF World champion before. Jackson Chauke has been starved of action. So let's see. We haven't really seen the best of Jackson yet. No, no, definitely. This, this uh, bout is scheduled for six rounds. I think this is just a warm-up for Jackson Chauke, though, uh, to, start the, to, to, to start the new year on a fresh end, eh? Just get a bit of uh, that ring rust off and, and start pushing it further. Oh, you can definitely see he's clinical and he's classy. He's got a nice left hook to the body. He's, he's making uh, Mia pay for some of these shots. Counter punching is very sweet, eh? Yeah, he's crisp. And you can just see that he's a, he's a, he's a classy boxer. Both, both boxers looking to select decent punches. Yeah, look, both guys are very... Actually, actually a very good uh, technical bout so far. But it just seems that Chauke has the upper hand when it comes to the exchanges. Jackson using the ring. Very nice ring craft. Yeah, Jackson's got that, that ring generalship. You know, he's just, he oozes class and it's, it's just something you expect out of a former Olympian. What do you think about the fight so far? So far, very technical. I, I'd shave the round to Jackson. He's just landed the cleaner punches and he's landed some devastating left hooks to the body. Well, we come to the end of the first round, yeah? Uh, the 10 second mark went and there we go. First round done and dusted. Guys looking um, very fit, very calm and collected. To take the shot for 
Cassius Beloy CBBA Boxing Academy and I won. Oh well you know obviously you come from a great background yourself and uh, you know no one better to share the mic with uh, today so I mean I've come back from I mean I've had amateur fights as well I've only had three I've, I've won them all but you know limited experience compared to a guy like you um, but yeah this is a great this is a great uh, team on both sides. Hayden this 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 the second round starting off with a bang um, both of these eyes, they, it looks like they got bad blood. You can just see it in the punches that they're throwing. Yeah, look, I mean, it's, it's always better when, when, you, when, you, when, when there's more venom in the fight. Uh, I think it adds to the excitement of the crowd. Also for the boxers personally, whoever wins this fight obviously feels more accomplished. Definitely. I see Simon's refing this fight. Simon's a very good ref. Known Simon for many years too. What a nice gentleman. Yeah, look, I mean, BSA are definitely cleaning up with the rules. Yes. Uh, Jackson landed a beautiful left hook. And a beautiful body punch. Can I just say right now, his left hook to the body reminds me a lot of Maruti M. Talani actually. The way Maruti comes up and he comes down. Definitely. Look, those small, short body shots, very hard to see, but they, they, they really hurt. They really hurt. And after three, four rounds, you start to feel it. Well, that, the referee has called a slip. I thought that was a yes, punch. Yes, I think that was a slip. Definitely a slip. a slip. Definitely a slip. No drop. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how Mir takes shots from here on. Look, Chauke is going nicely to the body. It's perhaps what a guy like Ricky Shabalala should have done a bit earlier. Yes, no, definitely. I've, I, I, I have to agree with, that, uh, with you on that one. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to see some stiff straight punches from uh, Jackson. Yeah. And he's, uh, he's just looking like he's getting better. Look at him. He's getting classy. He's slipping punches very nicely. He's not mixing wildly. Um, Zolile looking like he's... Uh, a, Going a bit wild now. Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like Chauke is is, is 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 actually getting more comfortable now. He's getting under a lot of the shots, and that left hook. I don't know how much has been mentioned. Look at that under again. He could have potentially thrown the left hook there, but I think he just wants to mix up his his punches at the moment, uh, just to avoid being obvious. And um, look at him. He's looking. He looks so comfortable in the ring. His ring craft is phenomenal, look and you it. only get that by experience. Yeah, and look tonight. Um, he, if, if, if Jackson wins his fight, he'll keep uh, the Durant's gym uh, undefeated on the, on the evening. For the whole year? Well, except for the one fight. One fight, one fight. But uh, let's put it to all the other gyms. He's so far the best. Yeah, look, I mean... His ratio has been phenomenal. Can we do it on 100%? Maybe not, but a 99? Definitely, yes. You know, obviously, uh, Durant's had a, a very good year this year. Uh, only losing once and, and potentially could be running up for SH uh, um, Trainer of the Year. However... The opponents that you know, he still got a lot of prospects, and it's a it's a lot easier in the beginning than at world level, where you can perhaps uh, mix it up. So there there is a lot of questions, and he's definitely an up and coming trainer. I'm very excited to see what he's producing. Round two looking very hot. Tell me something, but it's tough. I mean, I was talking about Jackson there. Uh, he is an Olympian. Let's bear in mind he did go. You know, he, he did go to the Olympics. He did fight one of the best in the world. Yeah. He did get knocked out. Look, no, there, there's no bum that goes to the Olympics. Let's put it that no, way. No, definitely. You're representing your country. Yeah, and I mean, if you look at it in recent years, there's the last Olympics there was no South African representatives. I think the um, best amateur we've had since since then was probably Tulani Mbenge, who got a, a bronze Commonwealth medal. Yes, yes. Talking talking about uh, talking about the Olympics and and, and amateur boxing. What do you think about the new headgear rule? What, so the new headgear, everyone must wear headgears? No, no headgear. No headgear. Oh, well, for me personally, I, I prefer not sparring with headgear. But I think at youth level, they should definitely be wearing headgear because of the amount of uh, damage you can take. Okay. That oh, these guys are at each other. At each other. Simon's trying to break them up. This is a good fight. Excellent boxing. Yeah, it looks like a, it's a definitely, um, as you can see, as, as the fights have gone on in the evening, so is the quality. And that's why you have main events and co-main events. I must admit, I'm liking Jackson's uh, trunks. It says M3 at the back. <laughs> okay, oh, Jackson, he's a, he's, a, he's a character as well. Yeah, I know, definitely. Uh, I, I went back into the locker rooms just now to go and speak to Tristan. And he said, hey, man. Where have you been to me? Um, 
he's, he's a lovable person. Very nice energy. Very nice energy about him. Not an arrogant guy. And this is what you need. This is what you want. You want guys you can have a conversation with. Yeah. Not, not be afraid to walk up to. Jackson throwing a bit wild there. Well, I tell you what. You can, I know the flyweight division isn't the most exciting division, but you can definitely promote a guy like Jackson. He's a hell of a character. Yeah, I know. Definitely. Um, talking about this division, it's not that far from DJ Creel. What do you think about DJ Creel? Phenomenal boxer. You know, considering his amateur background, or lack thereof, he has become a phenomenal boxer. You don't see many many guys becoming WBC international that early in their career he's proven it and I mean I noticed the other day and uh, well we'll just say this that when when he did go into we went into Durant's gym because actually funny story DJ owed me a chocolate mousse uh, because I took a bet with him yeah. and we walked in and uh, him and Jackson Chauke actually didn't see eye tie oh really yeah no no I don't, I don't think I, I think maybe Jackson might think that they might cross paths down the line and how do you think that would go? Interesting fights. I'd like to see DJ take a lot more fights before that. Uh, yeah, I know, definitely. For experience, yeah. um, coming off DJ's last fight was a bit of a tough one. Yeah, also, he's not big enough to be a flyweight just yet. He's still growing. He's very young. I think he's 22 years of age. That brings it to round three. Jackson Tauke. There's a bit of uh, severe, severe bad blood here. Yeah, that's, that's he's sitting in the crowd right now. He looks calm and collected. He actually looks like he's uh, watching this with both eyes open. Um, knowing that these guys aren't that far away from him. This is a, this is a bit of a, a bit of a showdown with these two guys. They're trying to apologize with each other. Simon putting them in place. Like I said to you, Simon does not take... Uh, uh, Simon not taking any problems from these two guys. Got them to apologize very fast. Jackson with that body shot again. These guys are going to go the distance. I personally think so. And this is going to be a hard decision. Mia looks a lot stronger than what his record suggests. And sometimes you can't dig too deep into a record. Definitely. Um, and at the end of the day, confidence and bad blood can pull something so hard out of a boxer. Jackson oh. coming with some good punches there, eh? Although I would say that Jackson's left hook is very underrated. Uh, I, I, I haven't heard it mentioned in the past, and I've seen, I've seen it firsthand today. He's got an exceptional left hook. Yeah, look, I would love, I'd love uh, to see these guys go the distance and see the calling on this because this fight looks very close. I do think Jackson is a bit ahead on points. Those left hooks are landing very neatly. Um, and the jabs, his defense is very nice. You know what? Um, you've got a fan. You've got a fan in me of both of these boxers. They've won it tonight. Both. Of these, I mean, this is a, for boxing fans. This is the sort of fight you want to watch. I mean, look at the crowd. No one's sleeping. Everybody's eyes are open. They're on the edge of their seats. They're loving. They're loving the adrenaline. Yeah. Yeah. Look, there's a lot of energy in the crowd today. Uh, look, these guys are are great examples of why. You can see the crowd. You can see the crowd. Well, you can't really see the crowd, but just below us, yeah, they are going absolutely berserk. Crazy, I'm sure you can hear them. A uh, lot of Jackson's uh, supporters. Damien's gym being very, very popular gym. A lot of supporters. I think it's his dad's track record in boxing South Africa that has pulled such a crowd. Well, look, um, as yet, he's the best uh, trainer in South African history. Uh, uh, Damien's father, Nick. And uh, looks like Damien looks to continue that legacy. I mean, look at these guys that are, are most of them are undefeated that he trains. And. Uh, Guy like Jackson, former Olympian, for him to get a caliber boxer like that, it's so early in his career, speaks volumes about his ability as a trainer. No, true. Uh, Jackson's always been a part of Durant, so um, he's also got phenomenal sparring. Uh, talking, uh, talking about this division to speaking about uh, DJ Creel. Yeah. DJ has got to the level he is because of his sparring. I mean. He's got uh, Konko, he's got Heki Butler, and he's got um, Maruti. Maruti. And, and I think that ups a boxer's game three times. Three Look, times, they're pheno three phenomenal fighters, all of them. Well, let's put it this way. DJ Creel's in the best gym for his weight division. He has world-class sparring. I'm talking about all those guys that he spars with are world champions. World champions and former world champions. And multiple-time multiple, multiple -time world champions. You know, you can't ask for better than that. And DJ has learned from that. And DJ probably will be a world champion himself. Hayden, sorry for pushing in here. I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at DJ right now. I think he's enjoying this fight. 
Yeah. I think he's watching very closely. Yeah, look, I think he's got I think he's got one eye on Jackson. Uh, I think maybe that's a future fight one yeah. day. It'll be um, a back and forth verbal battle as much as the the the, the, the important guys are in the ring. Um, I just think it's uh, I, 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 li I like seeing the top trainers going at each other. We saw Harold and, and Colin having a few boxes against each other over the years. Phenomenal battles, you know, like Reno Liebenberg, Johnny Muller. That happened twice. Two two great battles between two great trainers, and, and there's many more. Reno Liebenberg versus uh, Tommy Oesthuizen, also a great fight as well. What a phenomenal fight! I mean, whoa! I can remember watching that fight. I ha I remember having goosebumps for that fight. Eh? Mm. It was uh, you could hear the punch at the back of the center court of Empress Palace. Yeah, look, um, and that's Tommy Oesthuizen, you yeah, know. Yeah, definitely, Tommy Gunn. Yeah, Tommy Gunn. Unfortunately, he lost recently uh, in Russia, but you know. That, that's not the Tommy Gunn we know. I spoke to him recently saying uh, his camp was pushing for a knockout and he knows he's not a knockout puncher. He knows he's a boxer, fast hands and move, fast hands and move, select punches, select punches. Um, and his last training camp was just trying to put pressure on him to hit and knock out and he was chasing this Russian all night and he couldn't do it and he lost on points like that. If I'm not mistaken, at that point he had changed camps. Definitely, he was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, boxing with Gert. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah, well, that's also... You, no, yeah, Gert, Gert was with him in, uh, in, 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 in that fight, eh? I think uh, a good camp as well, just maybe not suited to his particular boxing style. Yeah, no, he fought, uh, he definitely fought the Russians' fight. Yeah, look, uh, from what I've heard, and I haven't seen the fight, that he won the first two rounds and lost the rest. That's what I've heard. Yeah, um, to Tommy's a boxer, he's not a fighter. He selects punches, two, three punch combos, and he moves. And he doesn't even want to hit hard. But he makes sure he collects those points. Yeah, look, I mean, I just remember early days when he, when he fought guys like Jared Lovett and all those sort of battles. Those were my favorite times. One of the best, one of the best fights I've ever watched. And we've got him in the crowd here tonight. Uh, the golden boy, Isaac Chalembe. Yeah, and... Uh, He's sitting right here in front of us here at the bottom here. Uh, let's zoom on him. Zoom, zoom on him there for a second. There we go, the back of his head right there. That is the golden boy, ladies and gents. Uh, Isaac Chalembe. When, he, when will he be fighting again, Aiden? You know, it's, it's hard to match him because he's, he's built up such a phenomenal, uh, awkward career. Yeah, look, look, I mean, for the purses. Oh, look at these punches. Jackson. Watch Jackson. He's going to stop the fight. Zolile. Zolile was out on his feet. Zolile was out on his feet. That was a good call from Simon. Very good call. Very good call. Zalili looks like he's a bit he's a bit upset, but you can't be upset about a, a decision like that. Definitely. His hands were down. He was taking clean shots to the face. He was out on his legs. Here comes Ilunga Makabu into the ring. There's Junior. Chilling with Jackson, lifting the champion right now. Also a phenomenal boxer. Uh, I turned pro with Nick Durant at 19. I was training in the gym and I just remember Junior coming in there on his own pace, in his own time. Nick used to slap him here and there, but what a phenomenal boxer. Look, I've seen Junior Makabu as well, uh, inspiring as well. When, he, when Mickey Nielsen came out to South Africa. Crazy. He, he literally played with the undefeated Mickey Nielsen, inspiring. Definitely, and, and, and not just that. I think, I think he's so happy that he's back with uh, the Durants. Oh. Jack Grill there. He looked, he looked, uh, I think he looked very anxious in that fight. He enjoyed it. He definitely enjoyed it. Uh, he's looking up here to the top here. I don't think he can see us. Um, but yeah, he's the current WBC international champion. I've seen him box. He's a phenomenal boxer. Um, very good friend of mine, but uh, I really think that he should be, I, I, I really think he should be looking out for prospects like Jackson Chauke in the future. It's a tough fight, definitely. I think Jackson just showed us that he's a tough fighter.